Hi, how is everyone doing today? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. Today, I am going to be showing you more cinematic movements and ideas using the DJI Pocket 2, but most of these ideas can also be applied to regular cameras or smartphone gimbals. Let's check them out. When we get to a location, we want to show everything right away. No, no, no. Instead, we really want to go slower, teasing the viewer for more and more. With a tilt reveal, we are getting that effect. We are going to be looking upward or downward and then slowly tilting the camera towards our point of interest. And how do we do this? We use follow mode and then we point down the camera and then slowly raise it like this. You can make this look better if you walk forward or backward at the same time. Something that I'm using on almost every clip on this video is this wide-angle lens from the brand Freewell. The Pocket 2 has a 20mm equivalent lens and this lens will give you a wide angle of 15mm and this will let you capture more of the scene. What I like about this lens is not just the wider field of view, it actually comes with a set of ND filters that you can use on this wide-angle lens. It comes with an ND8, 16, 32 and 64 and using them is so easy. You attach the ND filter to the lens, both are magnetic and then you just place it on top of the Pocket 2 lens. ND filters are like sunglasses for your camera and you will need them if you're filming outdoors on a bright day and you're following the 180 rule where you have to double the shutter speed of your current frames per second. For example, if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you should be using a 148th shutter speed or whatever that is closest to that, which in this case would be 150th. If you follow this rule and you don't have an ND filter, what's gonna happen is that there's going to be a lot of light coming into the camera sensor and the video is gonna come out way too bright and blown out. The idea of the shot variation is to have at least two different shots of your subject or location. Three or four would be even better and the basic concept is to have a wide, a medium and a close-up shot. The wide shot will get you a nice perspective as an establishing shot of what's going on on your scene. Then you can move to a medium distance where you focus more on your subject and not so much on your surrounding environment. And finally, with a close-up, you show more of the details of that subject. This shot variation advice is actually a very good one. Sometimes I forget to do it myself, but <laughs> don't be like me. Remember three shots, wide, medium, and close-up. You'll thank me later. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces, so Low angle shots or under a slung mode brings a very unique perspective by filming closer to the ground. To do this, all you have to do is flip the Pocket 2 upside down and the camera will get into the right position. A few ideas on how to use this. Number one is side to side. Number two, which I actually enjoy the most, is to move forward with the Pocket 2. Number three, probably the best way to do this is to attach the Pocket 2 to a small tripod a monopod or even an extension stick. Your back is gonna thank you, but be careful not to hit the camera on the ground. Don't ignore the power of a slow motion. It adds a deeper emotional feeling to a scene. It lets you capture all those details that we probably can't see with our naked eyes. The trick is not to overuse it because sometimes it just doesn't make sense to have a video in slow motion. The easy way to do this on the Pocket 2 is by swiping on the screen from right to left, select slow motion and select the speed that you want to have for the slow motion. Bonus tip, try to add some movement. Holding the camera is going to be okay, but try to make a push in, a pull back 
or even lift the camera slowly to get a more dynamic video clip. An orbit shot is a circle motion around a subject and this creates a dynamic movement between that subject and the background. It's not as easy as it seems and the way that works for me is I try to keep the same distance between me and the subject and I also use tilt lock on the pocket too. Then I walk forward making a circle and trying to look at the screen and I try to keep the subject as long as I can in the middle of the frame. Anamorphic lenses might sound scary, but there is nothing to be afraid of. This kind of lens will give you a more cinematic feel to your shots. There is a lot to explain about anamorphic lenses that goes beyond the intention of this video. But in a few words, you're going to be getting a wider aspect ratio. In other words, true black bars. And it will also introduce these cool looking horizontal flares that you see on the movies. For this shot, I use the Freewell anamorphic lens and just like the wide angle lens, it also comes with the ND filters. If you want to save some money, you can get this bundle that I have. It comes with the two lenses and four ND filters. You can also get one or the other. They are not expensive and if I had to choose just one, I would probably get the wide angle lens. Just don't tell Freewell that I said so. Let me know which idea or move you like the most. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and maybe say hello down in the comment section. Now it's time to go out and make some cool videos. My name is Otto, and I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.